In an alternate universe, the meteor that destroyed the dinosaurs passed by safely. Millions of years since then, the dinosaurs have grown in numbers and have their own families. One of them is Henry. He's a herbivore dinosaur who lives on a farm along with his loving wife. They spend their day looking after the cornfields, but today is special. Their eggs are going to hatch any moment. Henry and his wife don't even blink their eyes to cherish this beautiful moment. The two small eggs crack open and two energetic baby dinosaurs jump out. Henry names his babies Libby and Buck and looks forward to the next one. He thought that the bigger egg would have a strong and brave dinosaur. Surprisingly, it has a tiny, naive baby who's too afraid to step out. Henry names him Arlo and takes the babies to the farm. They live in a valley down the Clawtooth Mountain and look after the corn farm together. Days pass by quickly and the siblings grow up to take on the responsibilities. Libby and Buck look after the farm while Arlo is responsible for feeding the chicks. However, he's still naive and even scared of the chickens. Henry has built a tower silo to gather food for the winter. He made it stronger than before so other animals can't steal the corn. He and his wife mark the silo but the kids want to do it too. Henry explains that one must earn the mark by doing something big. From the next day, the siblings work harder to achieve the honor. Libby and Buck succeed and mark the silo while Arlo can't complete the simplest task. His siblings make fun of him and call him a coward, but Arlo doesn't want to give up. Later that night, Henry wakes up Arlo and takes him to watch the fireflies. He wants his son to realize that sometimes you must get through your fear to see the beauty on the other side. Henry also got a new job for Arlo. The corn has been stolen and they must catch the thief. This crucial task is given to Arlo and if he completes it successfully, he'll earn the mark. Arlo holds a big stick in his mouth and guards the silo. He doesn't let anything surpass him. Suddenly, he hears something getting caught in the trap. It looks like a wild creature. Arlo just needs to kill it with the stick, but his heart is so soft for that. Arlo breaks the rope and frees the little creature. It's a human child, but way too wild. He proceeds to Arlo and the poor dinosaur starts to scream. His father comes over and scolds him for failing again. Henry gets really angry and wants Arlo to complete his job right now. He takes his son outside the farm and climbs up the mountains. The weather is changing and a huge storm is on the way. Arlo tries to stop his father but Henry doesn't listen. The rain has made the mountains slippery and Arlo hurts himself. Henry realizes that he has gotten too hard on his little child. They start going back but the water level is rising. The flood can hit at any moment. Henry pushes Arlo forward but falls down into the river himself. He's never seen again and his family declares him dead. The poor mother can't finish the harvest by herself and gives up. Arlo tries his best and keeps filling up the silo. There he finds the wild child again. Arlo blames the kid for his father's death and runs after him. He loses his balance and falls into the river. The harsh waves crash into a huge stone and Arlo falls unconscious. He wakes up after the storm has settled away. His leg is severely hurt and he can't walk properly. Arlo drags himself and tries to climb the hill. He finds the human kid and blames him again for the unfortunate incident. Arlo has come far away from his farm but he can still follow the river to find his way back. Arlo feels hungry and tries to eat some berries but he can't reach them due to his small height. He falls down and gets stuck under the rocks. The night sets in and Arlo keeps whining for help. The next morning when he woke up, the human kid had already set him free. Arlo continues walking by the river but it starts raining heavily. He makes a hut with tree branches and rests for a while. He's woken up by a sudden sound. The kid has brought a lizard for the dinosaur to eat. Arlo refuses to eat it. The kid comes again after a while and brings a huge beetle, but Arlo is disgusted by it. Finally, the kid finds some berries for Arlo. The dinosaur loves the feast and requests the kid to bring some more. The kid guides Arlo to a scary hill where the berry tree grows. Arlo rushes in hunger and falls down. There's a huge snake that was guarding the tree. Arlo gets really scared, but the little kid knocks away the snake. Suddenly, a rhinoceros appears from the trees and admires the kid. He suggests Arlo name his savior. The kid only responds to the word Spot, so Arlo names him that. While Spot is beside him, Arlo can safely travel home. They walk by the river together and find a bunch of hamsters to play with. Afterward, they find something to eat but accidentally bite into rotten apples which causes them to doze off. When the night comes, Arlo introduces fireflies to Spot and they play heartily. However, it reminds Arlo of his family. He uses sticks to explain to Spot what a family is. Spot also uses sticks to show his own family. Then he buries two of them as his parents have died. Arlo does the same because he lost his father too. Spot comforts him and teaches him to take out his pain by howling. The next morning, the journey continues. Suddenly the wind gets harsh and a storm is coming their way. It reminds Arlo of his father's death and he runs in the opposite direction. He hits a bunch of trees and hides in a corner. After the storm ends, Spot comes looking for him. Arlo gets up, 
and notices a bunch of pterosaurs flying over his head. They seem friendly and promise to guide Arlo toward the Clawtooth Mountains, but first, they need to rescue the animals who suffered from the storm. Arlo thought the pterosaurs were kind dudes, but they were just after food. They also want to eat Spot. Arlo runs away with his little friend and reaches the Tyrannosaurus siblings. Luckily, they are good dinosaurs. They knock away the pterosaurs and offer their help to Arlo. However, the Tyrannosaurus' father doesn't have much time. He needs to find their herd of longhorns. Arlo promises to help them, and in exchange, he wants to be guided towards the Clawtooth Mountains. Spot has a strong-smelling skill and finds the herd in no time. However, a creepy species called the Rustlers are surrounding the herd. The Tyrannosaurus requests Arlo to scream and distract the Rustlers. He gets scared to death, but the Tyrannosaurus keeps him safe. Arlo also learns to fight by himself and proves his worth. Later that night, the Tyrannosaurus shared their stories of how they got their scars. They fought dangerous animals like the deadly crocodiles, but won against them. Arlo gets really impressed. He wishes to be fearless too, but the Tyrannosaurus tells him that they aren't fearless. They get scared too. If you ain't scared, you ain't alive. You can't get rid of fear. It's like Mother Nature. You can't beat her or outrun her, but you can get through it. You can find out what you're made of. Arlo understands every word and feels more worthy than ever. The next morning, he also helps in guiding the herd. Arlo feels really proud of himself and loves this power of independence. Finally, he sees the Clawtooth Mountains and says goodbye to the Tyrannosaurus. He runs beside the river with Spot. They are just a few miles away from home. They walk through the clouds and can see the mountains clearly. Suddenly, they hear someone howling like Spot. It could be another human. Spot wants to get a closer look, but Arlo doesn't want to leave him. He drags back Spot and tells him that they should go to his farm. Arlo also offers to share his food and bed with Spot. They haven't reached home yet and the sky is getting dark again. It starts to rain heavily. Moreover, Arlo can see the pterosaur's wings tearing the clouds. They have come back for Spot and succeeded in taking him away. Arlo tries to resist, but he falls down the cliff and gets stuck in the trees. He tries to break free, but a stone hits his head and he falls unconscious. When he opens his eyes, Arlo finds his dad helping him out. He gets really happy and cuddles with his beloved father. But he must help Spot. Arlo tries to stop his dad, but he doesn't seem to listen. Then Arlo notices that his dad doesn't have any footprints. He's just an illusion. Arlo's eyes fill with tears and he admits that he's afraid, but he must save Spot. The kid always helped him and now it's Arlo's turn. His father smiles at him as he always knew that his naive son is actually a lot more than he looks. Arlo wakes up from the dream and breaks out of the branches. The thunderstorms are striking everywhere, and Arlo is scared, but he doesn't give up. He's ready to face his fears and save his friend. Arlo keeps howling to signal Spot, and he finally gets a reply. Arlo follows the sound and reaches where Spot is. He's hiding in a tree and the pterosaurs are trying to bite him. Arlo attacks them and knocks off a few into the river, while the other pterosaurs try to carry him away. Arlo hits a tree with his tail that falls on the pterosaurs. Afterward, he screams out his lungs. The last pterosaur gets distracted and Spot takes it as a chance to bite off his wings. The enemies are gone, but the flood is coming their way. Arlo jumps into the river and finds Spot. He hugs the little kid before falling off the waterfall. Arlo drags him to the shore, but Spot isn't showing any signs of life. Arlo gets heartbroken. He can't lose another dear one. Fortunately, Spot opens up his life. He's still alive. They rest for a while and then continue their journey. The farm is just a few miles away, but they hear the howling once again. This time, it's a whole family of human beings. Spot excitedly runs towards them. He's scared at first, but then he recognizes the human touch and greets his fellows. Afterwards, he gets back on Arlo, but the dinosaur puts him down. He draws a circle around him to show Spot that he belongs to a family of human beings. Spot says goodbye to his dear friend and goes away with his new family. Arlo wipes away his tears and walks back home. His family is really glad to see him alive and gives him a warm welcome. After the greetings, Arlo walks to the silo and makes his mark. He has definitely earned it and proved his worth. Stronger is not the one with no fear. He's the one who has the courage to face his fears and overcome them. Learn to embrace what you are scared of and unlock your hidden abilities. Ignoring fear means ignoring yourself because it's a part of who you are.